Making decisions is an important part of our everyday lives. But as our responsibilities grow, our decisions have a more significant impact on our lives and those around us, especially as your career develops and your position within a company grows. The CEO of a company can make a decision that can cost millions of dollars and thousands of jobs. Embedded within the fabric of disciplines like Aikido, Karate, Judo, Taekwondo, and countless other martial arts are principles that offer invaluable insights into decision-making both in combat scenarios and in the complexities of everyday life. At its core, martial arts philosophy embodies a holistic approach to self-improvement, emphasizing not only physical strength, but also mental fortitude, emotional resilience, and spiritual growth. Central to this philosophy are principles such as discipline, respect, humility, perseverance, and mindfulness. These tenets serve as guiding lights for practitioners shaping their character and guiding their actions both on and off the mat. In the heat of combat, split-second decisions can mean the difference between victory and defeat, life and death. Martial artists are trained to make quick, decisive choices under pressure, drawing upon their training, instincts, and situational awareness. Whether it's choosing the right technique, adapting to an opponent's movements, or knowing when to strike and when to retreat, Effective decision-making lies at the heart of martial arts training. Mindfulness, adaptability, compassion, harmony, and courage are important values we learn on the mat that can be directly applied to making decisions off the mat. I've personally been training in Aikido for over 33 years now, so I'd like to point out a few powerful things you can learn from Aikido that will help you make better decisions off the mat. Aikido stands out not only for its unique techniques, but also for its profound philosophy. Rooted in harmony, balance, and non-resistance, Aikido offers us timeless wisdom applicable in our day-to-day -day lives. At its core, Aikido embodies the principle of harmony, encapsulated in its name, I meaning harmony or unity, Ki representing energy or spirit, and Do denoting the way or path. Developed by Morihei Ueshiba in the early 20th century, Aikido emphasizes the redirection of an opponent's energy rather than meeting force with force. This philosophy extends beyond mere physical techniques. It encompasses a way of being in the world, advocating for the resolution of conflict through reconciliation and understanding. One of the fundamental tenets of Aikido is the concept of non-resistance. You're taught to blend with the force of an attack rather than opposing it directly. By yielding and redirecting the energy of an opponent, Aikidoists demonstrate the power of fluidity and adaptability. This principle underscores the importance of flexibility in decision-making, urging you to embrace change rather than rigidly adhering to predefined plans. Aikido emphasizes the notion of masakatsu agatsu, meaning true victory is self-victory. Unlike competitive martial arts focused on defeating an opponent, Aikido encourages you to transcend the ego and cultivate inner mastery. Effective decision-making in the boardroom necessitates a focus on long-term goals and collective success rather than individual triumph. By aligning personal interests with organizational objectives, leaders can foster a culture of collaboration and mutual growth. In the fast-paced arena of business, decision-making often involves navigating complex challenges and unpredictable outcomes. By drawing inspiration from Aikido philosophy, you can cultivate a mindset conducive to effective decision-making. Here are some key principles derived from martial arts while highlighting the art of Aikido and their application in the boardroom. Mindfulness, or the practice of being fully present in the moment, is a cornerstone of martial arts training. By cultivating a heightened sense of awareness and focus, you are better able to perceive your surroundings, anticipate your opponent's movements, and maintain a calm, centered state of mind. In decision-making, mindfulness allows individuals to approach challenges with clarity and composure free from distractions and preconceptions. In Aikido, practitioners are encouraged to maintain a centered stance grounded in the present moment. As well, effective decision makers exhibit a calm and focused demeanor devoid of distractions or undue haste. 
By cultivating mindfulness and self-awareness, you can make decisions from a place of clarity and composure, mitigating the influence of biases or external pressures. Aikido techniques emphasize adaptability, allowing you to respond fluidly to changing circumstances. Likewise, successful leaders must be agile in their decision-making, capable of adjusting course in response to new information or unexpected developments. By embracing ambiguity and remaining open to alternative perspectives, decision-makers can steer their organizations through turbulent waters with resilience and grace. Unique to Aikido philosophy is the concept of compassion and connection which recognizes humanity in both oneself and others. As well, effective leaders demonstrate empathy towards their team members, stakeholders, and customers, understanding their needs and concerns. By fostering genuine connections and a culture of inclusivity, decision makers can make choices that resonate with their organization's and stakeholders' values. Courage often regarded as the cornerstone of martial virtue, is the willingness to face adversity and fear to pursue one's goals. In combat, courage is manifested in the desire to engage an opponent head on, to endure pain and hardship, and to persevere in the face of overwhelming odds. In decision-making, courage is equally essential, empowering individuals to take bold risks, confront uncertainty, and embrace change with conviction and resolve. In Aikido, we have a term, ai uchi, meaning mutual destruction. You move into an attack to get hit instead of blocking or moving away. Each time we practice a technique, we build our courage and go head on to become victorious. Central to many martial arts philosophies is harmony, or the dynamic balance of opposing forces. In combat, this balance is manifested in the interplay of offense and defense, strength and agility, power and precision. By seeking harmony within yourself and with your surroundings, you can achieve a state of equilibrium that enables effortless action and optimal performance. In decision-making, this principle emphasizes the importance of finding a balance between competing priorities, interests, and values. Aikido teaches the value of harmonizing with one's surroundings rather than imposing one's will. Likewise, successful leaders seek harmony within their teams and across organizational boundaries. By promoting a culture of collaboration and shared purpose, decision makers can harness their workforces and stakeholders' collective intelligence, driving innovation and sustainable growth. To illustrate the practical applications of Aikido principles in decision making, Let's examine two case studies from the corporate world. Toyota, renowned for its commitment to continuous improvement and employee empowerment, Toyota embodies the principles of Aikido in its corporate culture by fostering a philosophy of Kaizen, continuous improvement, and Genshi Genbutsu, going to the source. Toyota empowers its employees to make decisions based on real-world observations and collaborative problem-solving. This approach has enabled Toyota to adapt to changing market dynamics and maintain its position as a global leader in the automotive industry. Now let's take a look at Patagonia. As a leading outdoor apparel company, Patagonia exemplifies the principles of sustainability and social responsibility. Inspired by Aikido's emphasis on harmony with nature, Patagonia has pioneered initiatives to minimize its environmental footprint and support grassroots activism. Through transparent communications and stakeholder engagement, Patagonia has built a loyal customer base and differentiated itself in a crowded marketplace. The path of the warrior isn't just about mastering physical techniques or defeating an opponent. It's a journey of self-discovery, enlightenment, and transformation. A journey that offers profound insights into the nature of decision-making and the art of living. By embracing the timeless wisdom of martial arts philosophy, we can navigate the complexities of our modern world with courage, clarity, and grace, embodying the spirit of the warrior in all that we do. Now that's something you can take out of the dojo. 